Good evening everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I bring warm greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I also wish you all a very happy new year 2024. I thank God for this honor and privilege to come back and encourage and pray for all my viewers. This evening I would like to read a scripture for us from the book of Matthew chapter 7 verses 24 following and bring one or two things from here and encourage all of us as we begin this new year 2024 and i strongly believe that as we step out to a new year god is going to allow us to continue to walk in his truth in his word according to his will and may he help us to be strengthened in our faith and stand firm even in the midst of all the circumstances that we go through and may god continue to help us to walk in the truth because the truth is the matter of everything whatever no matter what we do my dear friends let me read for all of us verse 24 therefore everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock 25 the rain came down the streams rose and the winds blew and that beer against that house yet it did not fall because it has its foundation on the rock verse 26 but everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand the rain came down the streams rose and the winds blew and beat against that house and it fall with a great crash i used to always say there's only two things black and white good and bad sin and righteousness heaven and hell whenever i share the gospel i always mention this there's always two things one is good and one is bad if you do bad you will always find bad if you do good you will always go in a good way in the same way even after we die if you do good and believe in jesus confess in your mouth and believe in your heart that jesus is your lord and savior then you are going to heaven that is for sure if you don't confess Jesus as your Savior, believe in your heart and live not according to the Word of God. After you die, you will be going to hell because there's only two ways, heaven and hell. That's why Jesus came and showed us the way of heaven. In this particular Bible basis, we see two kinds of people. Number one, a wise builder. Number two, a foolish builder. It is always we see in the Bible that Jesus compares things and encourages his disciples, let them understand his word. Here Jesus says, whoever hears my words and put them into practice is like a wise man. Jesus did not say whoever hears, whoever have the word of God. He also said whoever hears, believe, give in their heart and also put into practice. That means as you learn, as you read the word of God, you also need to live according to it then that person is like a wise man who built his house on the rock because when the wind blew when the storm come when the streams arose it will never be shaken that foundation will never be shaken that will stand strong but the one who hears the word of jesus and not put into practice is like a person who built his house on the sand when we build a house on sand what will happen if the wind blew if anything happened that house foundation will be second and that will be just wiped away or it will just crash down it will fall down it will just go away but the one who built the foundation with the strong foundation lay his foundation on the rock will never be second even in the midst of all the storms and challenges my dear friends just two things i want to encourage with this word that which foundation are you laying in what kind of sand or in what kind of soil you are laying your foundation. Are you just a hearer? Are you just a church goer on a Sunday? Or just reading the word of God in your room, not putting it into practice? Or you just listen to the preacher and just listen and hear and just goes away from other air? Are you a person who built your foundation on a solid ground? My dear friends, I just want to tell you, it is all about our lives. It's all about our relationship with others. It's all about our relationship with God. When you 
completely lay your foundation in Christ, your life will be an example. Your life will be a blessing. Your life will be a torchlight for even others in, in the midst of darkness. But if you don't lay your foundation in Christ, if you don't fix your eyes on Jesus, if you don't live according to the Word of God, what will happen? You will be a stumbling block to others. You will be a curse to others. You will lead the other into shit. And that's what that's when we don't obey and live according to the word of God. And if you build your foundation in Christ, there will be a time of suffering, there will be a time of crying, there will be a time of sadness, there will be a time of challenges, storms, difficulties in your life, even in the midst, you will be able to stand firm in your faith and say, Yes, Lord, thank you. David said, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no one. Why? Because David lay his foundation in God. He trusts in God and he said, I will not fear. But if your foundation is not in Christ, if your foundation is not laid in the Word of God, what will happen when the times of troubles, when the times of sickness, sufferings and pain, difficulties and challenges will happen? You will surely complain. You will not be able to stand firm and you will fall down. My dear friends, Bible always want us to be careful, to be truthful, to be faithful before anything happens. Before it's too late, come, let us build our foundation in Jesus as we begin this new year. If you have already built your foundation in Jesus, continue to build it, continue to make it strong. If you have not, my dear friends, come, let us lay our foundation in Jesus. Fix our eyes on Him with dedication and commitment. And I believe that as we walk, we will be able to experience the unconditional love, unmeasurable love of Jesus in our life in, year, in the year of 2024. Thank you and God bless.